Hello and welcome to Deadliest Catch, the game given to me by Ultimate Games SA. Now, I actually don't know much about this apart from maybe dangerous fishing? But let's give it a go. Who needs a tutorial? Captain's name. Captain Qatar? Vessel's name. You know what? Let's just call it Syndicate. Nice. Vessel's type. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, we've got some different types. I don't know what these do. Oh, wait, no, hang on, I just realised. Yeah, we'll go with that. Font colour, contour. No, shadow. So you can edit the ship quite a bit, okay. So we're doing this blind without the tutorial. This is going to go very well. Hello, Captain Qatar. Today is 9-4-2000, and you are starting... No, it's not. And you are starting your season number one of King Crab Fishing on... Bering Sea. It'll take nine days. Your current position on overall leadboard is one. Good luck. Shit, I should have done the tutorial. Where is my ship? There's my ship. You need to change your ship. No, we are set sail. We're setting sail, going straight into the deep end, and seeing if I can figure out how to fish whilst never having fished in my entire life. Oh, well, this is dark. Oh, wow. Well. So, this is a crab pot. Used to catch crabs underwater. Okay. How does it So, where is the crane now? Ready to start. Oh, this is if you get crabs. Okay. Okay. It's so dark. Is there no light? I have no crewman. Is that a bad thing? Ugh. You know what? Welcome to the tutorial. Follow the steps right top corner to successfully end your first move. You need some items to start fishing. Buy them in the store. Boyos, crab pots and a herring bait block. Can I jump? I cannot jump. That is depressing. We need one and two of these. Okay. Press M to open the map. The main ingredient of a good catch is planning. Choose spots where there are most crabs. In the case of seabeds, crabs like sand and mud the most. There also there almost is aren't any crabs on rocky seabeds. Okay. So how do, how do I know where I where I need to go? How does how does one know? Okay. The next factor is to consider uh, the next factor to consider is water temperature. Crabs most often live in water at a temperature of about four Celsius or thirty nine Fahrenheit. Okay, let's have a look. Most crabs live 55 to 100 meters or 29 to 54. I don't know what FTM sounds. I should know. Under the sea level. Okay. Use the crane to place the pot on the launcher. You can enter the crane mode by using the lever on the console or near the crane. Okay. Um, hang on. Take the pot from the slot? What? Oh, oh. Ooh. Press Q to leave. Okay. Open the boy basket. Where's the boy basket? Where's the boy basket? Oh, there it is. Boy. Take boy. Take the boys. Okay. Am I pronouncing that? Boys or boys? Okay, so it's the marker to where it is. Okay, that makes sense. Open the pot to add the bait. Open the fridge. Ah. Ugh. Am I picking this up with my hand? I'm apparently picking it up with my hand. What is this? Place home bait in the crab pot. Close. Throw the crab pot. Okay. Whoop. Bye bye. Catch boy from the water. Take the hook from the storage compartment, approach the ship's side, and enter the hook throwing mode. Where? Oh. I love how everything's highlighted because I'd be lost without the highlights right now. Got playing hook. Approach the ship side. Enter grappling hook mode. How do I enter grappling hook mode? Okay, so I just need to. Okay. Go to the console area. Oh, this is that. Okay. Turn on the coiler? Coiler. Lower the winch hook. Oh. Attach the hook to the pot. 
That's E as well. Place a pepper on the launcher. Oh! Hello, crabs. You cannot drop by him here. Okay. Pick the boys. Pick up the boys? Really? Oh, okay, yeah. That makes sense. Always keep clean. Wow, the sensitivity is a little high. Open the crab pot. Hi, guys. You're not going to eat me, are you? Move the table to the launcher. Move the table to the launcher? What table? This one? Oh, okay. That was a bit smaller time. Okay, and use the button. Wait for the crab to fall onto the table. They look so much bigger in there! Examine the crab's maturity and gender to check if it is suitable. You can catch only large male crabs. Others will result in a fine. Hold left mouse button on the crab pile to catch a crab. Then move to the middle of the table. Use space on the crab to verify it. Then by holding right mouse button, left mouse button, and moving the... What? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Hi. How, how, how do I check you? How does I check you? How does... How do I... How do I check your gender? Oh, you're female. Okay. Depending on whether the crab meets the criteria, classify it by putting the crab on the table space and dragging into the correct or incorrect part or immediately you're pressing. Okay. So you're invalid. Sorry, love. Okay, let's have a look at you. Okay, you're male. And you are mature. Okay, so you are correct. Okay, I get it now. Uh, take the crab content from the warehouse. Use the crab container on the inappropriate crab pile. Okay. <laughs> Bad crabs. Throw crabs E from the, from the inappropriate crab pile into the water. So I have to throw it from a specific spot, really? There we go. Bye, crabby. Throw appropriate crabs in the crab pile. Use the crab container onto the appropriate one. Open a hatch to the hold in the middle of the deck. Oh, this one? Throw good throw crabs from a good pile into the Okay. Huh. Okay. Drop the crab down. Look at the hatch and use E to close it. Close hatch to the hold. Use the processing factory to sell the crabs. Okay. Learn how to show where I go in here, because it's all dark. Okay. No finds, brilliant. And I did well. I sorted them correctly, I guess. Enter the skill store and buy a per a discount for future. Uh. Enter the skill store and buy a discount for future shopping. Oh, it's so dark, I can't see anything. Use what you have learned to prepare the crab pot to be thrown into the sea. Place the pot on the. Okay, so basically, it's just doing the same thing with the pots and the crabs in there. Anyway. Unfortunately, I am all out of time here. I know there's more to this game than first appearance. Unfortunately, as I said, this is all I have time for. Thank you so, so much um, to Ultimate Games SA for allowing me to play this game. There's a lot to take in. There's quite a lot to um, try and remember. Um, as we saw when I went into the game, first of all, before the tutorial, it's extremely dark and very hard to tell what you need to do next. Um, I do kind of like the sorting. I'm not entirely sure if I'll come back to this game or not, but I do like the ship. I'm hoping that with time I can get some more crew members and make things a lot easier for me. So, guys, if you like the content I'm putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.